Welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. Join host Dan Melnick and Kasim Masood as they explore big ideas, limitless possibilities, and engage with visionaries, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders who dare to dream big, get inspired, motivated, and find practical tips for personal growth. Think big, dream bigger, and ignite your potential. All right, welcome to Think Big with Dan and Cosman. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us where you live and what you do for a living. Hi, I am Elizabeth Hall. I go by Liz. I, well, I do a ton of things <laughs> for my living. I actually have uh, two full-time careers at the moment. One of them is residential real estate that I do here in Southern California, specifically around Pasadena and the Los Angeles area. And I also um, started a company called Ease Natural Health, where I created a health supplement that helps with um, your gut and your immune system, specifically uh, vacation constipation, as I like to say, when people are traveling, it helps you go when you're on the go. (laughs) Awesome. So how did you get the idea for Ease? Honestly, it was from a true pain point. I had suffered from constipation uh, most of my life. I had a lot of health issues in my early years, and I had to take matters into my own hands uh, eventually. And um, I always went the naturopathic route versus over-the-counter medications or, you know, over-the-counter synthetic products that are out there. Like the laxatives that are out there are so harsh and full of all these synthetic ingredients that come with all these side effects. Like, and like the word laxative is such a trigger word, right? You're like, oh my gosh, there's urgency, there's cramping, there's like, you don't know when it's going to hit you kind of thing. And so you're afraid to take it. Um, Trust me, I've experienced it all when it comes to laxatives. And I knew that I, there was something better out there. And so I had to, there wasn't at the time. So I had to create it for myself. And um, now gut health is becoming more mainstream and which is great because the, you know, they say your, your gut is your second brain. And when you focus on your gut and your health, it could really make a difference in your entire body. Awesome. So how did you, I mean, it's one thing to have the idea to have this pain point, but like, how did you like, do you have like any like chemistry background? Like how did you actually go about making the product? Yeah, no, I had no chemistry background, but I like a lot of stories that you hear, I did start it in my kitchen. I was my own guinea pig and I experimented on myself. <laughs> I was mixing and these potions and minerals and vitamins up and, and I did experience some side effects, like certain types of vitamin C gave me a whole bunch of mouth sores. <laughs> But I did also do research and I do have friends that are in the medical field that I went to for advice. And um, I had a chemist friend who I did go to to say, can I mix these? And they're like, yeah. (laughs) And so once I finally was on to something that was working and I didn't have any effects um, other than what I wanted it to do, that's when I went to a third party company to have it certified to, to confirm it. And then I also went to a doctor who's like, yes, this is legit. And this, this actually works and it's great for you. (laughs) For sure. So as of right now, or most of your customers like e-commerce or you're selling like in retailers, I guess, what does that look like for your business? Currently I am direct to consumer. So it's word of mouth. I I'm trying to do, you know, it's a slow roll. Um, I just launched last year of, of August of last year. So not even a full year of, um, being out there with my, with the product brand and name, but, um, Direct to consumer. Um, exciting news is that I will be on Walmart.com. Uh, hopefully within two weeks, I'm going to be rolling that out soon. So that's very exciting. So and um, I will be on Amazon. I was hesitant to go on to Amazon in the beginning, but it's somewhere you just have to be and you can't avoid it. So I'll be right. on so- Amazon soon enough. So as of now, like you mentioned, obviously word of mouth, but if you run ads, email marketing, it's like, how else have you been able to scale or get in front of people in the last year? Yeah. In the beginning I was, um, I felt like I did, I guess it's a soft launch. I was doing ads, um, but currently I've paused. I know I shouldn't be, um, but I'm trying, you know, I, like right now it's like a water hose of information and I'm learning. This is like a whole new field that I'm learning. Um, even in 
residential real estate, everyone is all on social media these days, right? There's only so many houses you want to look at on social media these days. It's like bombarded. <laughs> But yes, I am trying to educate myself. I'm trying to learn how to do it properly because you could just really go overboard and spending money, money that you don't even have just trying to get it right. right. So what were, I mean, I guess like when you did run it, did you get good results or I guess like, what did that look like for a business? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was, I was getting some, I was getting orders in and then I st realized that you need to figure out what is, which is the best angle. Is it Facebook ads? Is it Instagram ads? Is it Google ads? Right. And so <laughs> currently um, I pause because I know I'm going to be getting ready to launch on Walmart. So I'll be doing Walmart ads, <laughs> but Instagram so, seemed to be my main, main one that was working for me. For sure. So obviously once you get somebody in the door that buys from you one time, like how do you leverage and focus on customer lifetime value, like getting people to come and like to keep buying from you every month or subscribing? Do you offer that in the business? Yeah. So that is an email campaign, right? So I feel that I'm still collecting my list of customer contacts and loyalty um, since I'm still new. But uh, actually just this morning, I received a repeat order. And uh, it's always exciting to me when I get a repeat order and it's someone I'm like, oh, they're not a friend or a family member. So I'm like, yes. <laughs> and this particular person who I've never met just saw me online. Um, has, this is her third order from me. So I'm like, I feel like I could say she's a loyal customer now. <laughs> Right. But even I would say friends and family, even if they're, you know, repeat buying, it's like people talk with their money, right? It's one thing if they're getting free stuff, but if they're actually yes. spending money and repeat buying, well, that actually says something about your products in a very good way. Yeah, exactly. It, it makes it feel special, which sounds silly. That's like, oh, I don't know this person because I, for me still thinking like, oh, a friend or family, it's like, oh, they're doing it because they're just trying to support me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, that made me very excited for for this order. For sure. So obviously, like you mentioned, Walmart and being on walmart.com, but have you like thought about, or are you looking into getting into retail this year? I guess like, what are some of your goals for 2024? Yeah, no, I have some major goals and aspirations. Um, so I, my, my whole goal with Travelies or Ease Natural Health is to get Travelies into um, hotels. I actually see this product in all of the mini bars at hotels and at uh, the airport because people are very literal and they don't like to plan, even though. You you, people say they plan, but for this product, you want it to be accessible when you need it. You need it to be convenient. And, and that's going to be when they're traveling. That's when you're at your hotel room, in your hotel room. That is when you're at the airport and you're you're thinking like, oh, I do suffer from this. Oh, I could pick some up here, right? That's my goal. And I'm really working on getting the relationships with these hotels. So that's exciting. Um, yes, I do see them going in retail. Uh, I'm trying to get into Sprouts and Irwan, you know, but that's in the future. Um, but I really, really would be excited to get it into the hotels and airport. That's my goal. And then I do plan on growing Ease Natural Health. Like I named it Ease Natural Health, not just Travel Ease, because the product is called Travel Ease, because I do have another product launching later this year. So that's a, a goal that I'll be checking off the list. And that product is called Daily Ease. And that'll help keep you regular on the daily. <laughs> for sure. No, I think that for sure is a good product. Because it's like, if you can get, you know, something where you can help somebody's gut and their natural health. Like I have supplemented, I think every single day, like, yeah. and I'm buying it every month because I need it. Right. So mm -hmm. it's like, it, it's something that I think could add lots of value. Yes. Yeah. Now daily ease, it's um, a prebiotic and it's very all same safe minerals and, and vitamins. Great for you, helpful, and it helps you stay regular, um, which I'm very proud of. And it tastes good too. <laughs> for sure. So in terms of like these hotels and um, these airports, have you started these conversations or is like, what is your strategy to get in front of these organizations so they can sell your products? Yes, I have started the process. It's a slow process. I'm learning, I guess, and every entrepreneur, it's like you have to have patience. <laughs> but I have started the process. Um, one of them was I made sure that I was certified as a woman-owned business. 
as a minority owned business and having these certifications help get you in the door to these places. I have been reaching out to the hotels. I'm trying to get into their internal system and, um, trying to get uh, the appointments. And and I'm also, you know, trying to utilize, you know, word of mouth through every friend or family member who has a contact to the right person in a ho- the hotel. For sure. So I guess like if your product's in a hotel or in like, a, like, like in a store, how do you um, portray, like for somebody who's just walking by on a shelf, like how do you, I guess, explain it to somebody that this is going to solve their problems? Do you have like certain packaging or like does it stand out? Like what does that look like? Yeah, it does have, I, I do have it on my packaging. I wanted it to be still classy and discreet because, you know, I didn't want people to feel like holding the product packaging, like, oh, it's a big poop emoji on it, right? <laughs> uh, it does say it's an all natural, reliable relief. I think the name Travel Ease kind of um, has people intrigued by it and they're like, oh, I'm traveling. What's this ease part about, right? <laughs> And then I'm very transparent about the ingredients and that it is on the back describing exactly what it is. It's a a natural, reliable constipation relief and that there's no cramping, there's no runs, no urgency, no dehydration. It actually helps with dehydration. So for sure. What would you say is like the biggest challenge that you currently face in your business? Currently it's, well, there's multiple challenges. (laughs) as a startup. Um, but I think for me personally, it's just budgeting. I have been self-funding it um, this entire time. Eventually, I will have to get some capital from investors or angel investors, right? Um, and also advertising. That has been a challenge. Ads, because I'm trying to figure out which is the right angle to go and where should I be spending my marketing dollars. So I'm right. trying to navigate for that. Because in my mind, people don't know my brand. It's not everywhere yet, right? I'm still a small little startup trying to get the word out. This March coming up is um, considered, uh, you know, expo season for the natural products world. And so getting to these expos and getting the exposure um, just to network is, I'm excited and looking forward to. So yeah. Are you going to be at um, Expo West? Yeah, Expo West, that's one of the big ones. So yeah. I am not going to go to it this year, uh, but I do have, I am attending a lot of the events. Okay. Um, I am going to the We Bank, the Women Business Enterprise Convention Expo in Denver this year. And uh, that one's just as big. And I'm really excited for that one. For sure. So in terms of raising money, would you be looking to spend that money more on the product or marketing? Or like what exactly like would you want to raise money for? Yeah, marketing. Marketing's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's true. You're dealing with these, you know, huge conglomerates who, you know, have unlimited funds. And so just to get your name out there, it's not always easy. (laughs) Yeah, it's true. So obviously now in 2024, many companies are looking for ways to use high level technology, AI. So do you guys use AI in your business? And if not, like, where do you see maybe AI coming in and playing a role in 2024? I love AI if you utilize it, right? I mean, I'm not all about robots taking over people's jobs, (laughs) but um, I use, I do think that AI could be a good tool for you and especially for small businesses. I do utilize chat GPT often. I won't say daily, but very often. I like to use it to help me curate um, even my social media posts. I just used it this morning to write a social media post. <laughs> Does it give you like a good post, like what you want? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have said like, oh, chat GPT, it gives you a lot of false information. And it could be true, but for what I'm using it for, it's not really false you know, information. I'm asking it to write a post about my product and and having it, you know, short and sweet, but you have to be very specific on deep and detailed on what you're asking. And, um, I know some people may not like this, but I do like to use it for my blogs. (laughs) Right. But do you feel like AI can maybe come in and help you, for example, because like, the product you're selling is so new to the market. Like, you know, if somebody's like chatting on your website, kind of explain the product, you know, and tell them like why they should buy it. Yeah, I haven't um, come across that yet. 
but I would be open to it. I'm definitely open to new technology. Awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess like in terms of your business, right? Like you mentioned, obviously some of your goals and scaling up, but like, you know, are you looking to be like a global brand or scale, you know, across the country in certain states? Like where do you really want your products to be? I guess. Yeah, that's a great question. Yes, I have huge aspirations and huge goals. I do see Ease Natural Health being big at some point. And so originally when I created Ease Natural Health, I saw it as a medicine cabinet. Alternative medicine counter, it'd be more of a natural products that are replacing over-the-counter harsh products, right? So I have travel ease that helps keep you regular on when you're traveling, I have um, daily ease that'll be coming out, helping you keep regular on the daily. And then I do have, um, you know, when people suffer from a hangover <laughs> or an alternative, uh, you know, Tylenol or aspirin. So I do have a list of products, ideas that I've been working on and eventually will be rolling out, but I'm still, you know, still starting slow and and I would love to get it, you know, everywhere to help people. I mean, I do have, I, I did have someone that reached out to me on Instagram and say, oh, do you sell this in Belgium? And I'm like, oh, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> not no. yet. Yeah, not yet, but. For okay, sure. So. so what would you say is like the one biggest piece of advice that you wish you knew before you started this business? That's a great question. I would probably say just, um, I wish someone would just tell me to be more patient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, all these things take time. It's funny. People always like, that's like one of the most common things that we hear on this podcast. It's like, it's always going to cost you more. It's always going to take more time. You know, it's like, it's true, right? Cause like these things take time. Like you have a conversation and especially for retail and you follow up, you follow up maybe next quarter. And then eventually, you know, they, they, you know, look, we'll, we'll come on board. So, I mean, those things take time for sure. And it's not something that happens overnight. So if we're going to have this conversation again in one year from now, where do you see things going for your business? Yeah. Uh, I, I see that travel ease will definitely be in um, hotels, a lot of hotels, some big name hotels. I do see it in the airport. Crazy enough. I actually see it in a vending machine at the airport. I don't know. I have this vision. <laughs> And I do see it in retails, um, maybe like Sprouts, Bristol Farms, uh, like I said, Irwan. I, I I do plan on getting it um, out there and in the public and e more easily accessible. Yeah, I mean, it could definitely be in a, like an airport convenience store, or like an airport yeah. vending machine. Like we have here at DFW Airport in Dallas of these like automatic convenience stores that, that don't have people. And then you just put your card and then. You know, so I could yeah. see it in one of those like cool, like high tech convenience stores. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're selling like makeup in a, a vending machine at the airport <laughs> these days. So why can't they have travelies where that's actually going to help you for a necessity? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So if somebody watching this wanted to reach out to you, do you mind sharing your, your website or social media handles? Yes. I guess the best way to get in contact. Yes, um, easenaturalhealth.com. That's E E Z E naturalhealth.com. And on social media, it's also at Ease Natural Health. So, yeah, that's awesome. it. Awesome. Well, Liz, thank you so much for your time today. We're rooting for you, and hopefully, we can chat again in one year from now. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, Dan. Of course. Thanks. All right. Thank bye. You. Bye.